God, I hate 40. Ugh. Hey guys, it's Patrick R with TFB TV. And today I'm out at the range showing you guys how to turn your 40 caliber Glock, like this one, this is a Glock 23 that uh, I kind of inherited, into a nine millimeter variant, like this 19 that Lone Wolf sent over. And I wanna thank them for that. So you have three options, and I'm gonna show you how to do each one of those, with the exception of the first, which is sell your 40 um, and then buy the nine millimeter gun. Uh, then you're left with a gun that only shoots nine, but that's not a terrible thing, because you know, nine's not a bad caliber. Now, if you have a 40 and you wanna shoot cheap nine millimeter ammo, you've got a couple of options though, and you wanna retain your 40. One is to purchase one of these Lone Wolf conversion barrels, and this is just a drop-in affair you only need the barrel. You don't need to replace any other parts like the ejector or extractor or anything like that. Um, you just replace the barrel, put a nine millimeter magazine in there and you're good to go. Now option two is to purchase a top end. So that would be a barrel, a slide, the internal parts, make sure it's got sights on it. And then inside there, there's your ejector and you're gonna need that as well. And you put that into your 40. So we're gonna show you how to do that as well, but that's definitely a more costly option. To install the Lone Wolf barrel on your 40, simply drop the slide like you normally would, set the frame aside, pull that spring out, and then remove the barrel. Drop the barrel in, see it's just a drop-in barrel. Reinstall your mainspring assembly and then slide it back onto the frame. You now have a nine millimeter Glock. All right, so now we got that lone wolf barrel installed in this thing and it took no time at all. It's loaded up with some nine millimeter in a nine millimeter magazine and take some shots. I'd say that that works pretty well. All right, so let's take that back apart, get the lone wolf barrel out of there, put the stock one back in, and then convert it over to the 19 parts, which means the barrel, slide, and ejector. Okay, so now we have our Glock back in its stock configuration, and uh, we're gonna wanna clear it and disassemble it to swap those nine parts onto the frame. Now, you only want to retain the recoil spring assembly the slide and barrel can be set aside. We're not gonna be using those because we're going to use a nine millimeter slide and a nine millimeter barrel. We'll set those aside right now. Now this is why it's a lot easier just to buy one of these guys because the slide and barrel are pretty expensive um, and you also need one more part in here to be swapped out. And that is the ejector assembly. So we're gonna start with our first pin on the pistol. I've got a Glock tool, I prefer those because these little rounded corners really help in putting the pistol back together. But anyhow, we're gonna go ahead and push out the what they call the first pin, and this is always first when taking it apart or putting it back together. So let's take that and set that aside because we're gonna retain that. Then we're gonna grab the slide stop. You don't need a hammer for this. Just kind of wiggle it around and that next pin will fall right out. So we'll take the slide stop out and set it aside. And the last one is this little polymer pin here in the rear. We'll just push that right out. Now, pry up on your locking block, set it aside. We'll be using that again. And then take the trigger assembly out. Now, in order to get this apart, you kind of rotate it just like that and then flip it around 180 degrees and then slide that little spring out. Now we're gonna be reusing the connector on this. So take your tool and push it right there and the connector will fall right out. So if you take a look at these two parts, you see that the nine millimeter is kind of canted in, whereas this one is straight and that's so it interfaces with the case properly and you don't get hits on the primer. So if you're using one of the nine millimeter conversion barrels, do not change the ejector out. It's intended to be used with this straight 40 caliber ejector. If you install a nine millimeter ejector trying to be proactive, what'll end up happening is you'll get 
strikes on the primers um, and it could cause an unsafe situation. Uh, don't try to install one of these and straighten it if you're using a conversion barrel. And leave the 40 caliber ejector in there. So we'll set the 40 caliber ejector aside and then we're going to take the connector. We're going to slide it in. You don't need a hammer for this, just slide it in. Then you'll take your trigger bar and trigger return spring and hook it on there. There's a little hole. Make sure that the opening goes down and then rotate it and then kind of wiggle it in there like that and you're done with that piece. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our frame now and install the trigger assembly and ejector and all that good stuff. And I'm going to put the locking block in place and then we're going to install the first pin. And this is where this, these corners come in handy is centering those pins. Now install your slide lock, slide stop, whatever the heck you want to call it. Slide the trigger pivot spring in, or pin in and make sure that that snaps down so we know that's installed correctly. And then install that rear pin and uh, center it. And now all we need to do is take our recoil spring assembly from the 40 caliber slide, install it on the 9, and there you go. So now we have a 9mm Glock. Alright, so now we're back out on the firing range with the Glock 19 top end, so that's the barrel of the slide, and uh, make sure it's a complete slide because sometimes they come without the extractor and the loaded plunger thing, or the end plate or striker or any of that nonsense. It's much easier just to buy a completed top end and pop that onto your 23 after you've changed out that ejector to make sure it's the proper one. So let's load this up and uh, make sure it works. I'd say it runs just like a Glock should. And uh, that's because it's all Glock parts. Now remember, this is the only time you wanna change that ejector out. If you've got that Lone Wolf conversion barrel, leave it the stock 40. All right guys, so that brings us to the end of our video on how to convert a 40 caliber or 357 SIG Glock into nine millimeter. And you can do that with either when one of these really inexpensive barrels, which probably is the recommended method. I haven't had any trouble with them. They run reliable. You know, and I don't see any reason to go ahead and replace the top end with a Glock 19 top end. Or you can sell your gun over at ProxyVid and pick up one of these and just have a factory 9mm Glock, which frankly would be my preference if I didn't have a bit of an attachment to this one. Anyhow, we'll see you guys next week. Bye.